Welcome to Total Fit Heads. Serious fitness for not so serious people. Got it. <laughs> they can't hear that. We just heard the Zoom say recording in progress and Max talks to the robot every time. Recording in progress. It sounds like the computer from Star Trek. Do you even know what that is? No. Star Trek? Well, I'm a, what's known as a cool person, so not familiar. Uh, I'm so sorry. I went to a Star Trek party the other day. Did I tell you that? Yeah, your Instagram stories told me, and I was like, so glad I was not invited to that. <laughs> It was I like thought, the opposite of FOMO. I was like, how did he get this invite? And why wasn't it in my inbox? Thank God. <laughs> I don't know how I got it. And it was a little bit of a, uh, a confusing one because what, what, what the there email were aliens said, there. <laughs> the email was like, yeah, it's a screening of Star Trek. Do you want to go nerd? And I was like, yeah, obviously. And then I got there and it was sweet. And like the cast of Picard season two on whatever Paramount Plus was there. And it was like, there's a step and repeat. There was a, uh, what is those stupid uh, camera? The uh, the copyright photos. No, the copyright photos that you have to buy. And they're like $5,000 for your self, your, your, uh, you on a step and repeat. Oh, Getty Images. Yeah, Getty Images was there. <gasps> I don't know if it's like Mr. Getty or whatever, but. <laughs> Can I find you now? I can search and pay five hundred dollars for Max. And, and it was so swanky, and they had these like flame burgers that were like, uh, they had like a blowtorch, and they had these. I mean, long story. They had all these Star Trek themed cocktails that were like glowing blue and all this stuff. And I'm like, this is so much cooler than I was expecting. I was expecting like a bunch of nerds like me. <laughs> you know, to go to a screening of the newest nerd season of nerd show, you know, and it was like, <laughs> nerd season of nerd show. <laughs> you know, it was like so cool. And then yeah. I watched the show. The show's really good, too. But you know what I mean? Like, I was just like, I was I was aghast. But yeah, the Star Trek show, the Star Trek party was sweet. I have no idea how I got on the list, but I'm psyched about it. This was just two minutes of you telling me how cool it was. It was cool. <laughs> The next time you're not you're invited. You're super cool, Max. You are. Thanks. Thanks. I, I would have assumed you already knew that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Wait, how do we get on that? Why did you bring up Star Trek? Oh, your voice. You're doing the lady voice. Oh, oh, that's what I was going to say. So the, the lady that does the lady voice. Yeah, that's my lady voice. The, the computer voice on the show Star Trek. You know, they'd say like computer locate uh, Ensign Spagnola or whatever, you know, like or computer. How long will it take us to get to blah, 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 five or whatever? And so the computer voice was I think it was Gene Roddenberry's wife. And she had this job, like this sort of a throwaway role or whatever. And then she had this role of like the computer voice for like 20 years. <laughs> That's cool. You know, and it was sweet. And then I think I, I, I don't remember. I mean, this is horrible, but I don't know if she passed away or not, but I'm pretty sure they like recorded a bunch of other uh like canned phrases and stuff so they can make more <laughs> right so she'll the original live on Siri. forever she's great yeah she's great yeah anywho how you doing spags you look great thank you feeling great you look good too is that thank a you. sleeve it's a new sleeve tattoo yeah I got a uh, wow. Did that tattoo. hurt? Did you not get a muscle up, or what's the deal there? <laughs> uh, I have gotten a muscle up because I recorded it and sent it to you immediately, and then I haven't tried again since that was six months ago. <laughs> familiar because again. once receiving the muscle up, I favorited it and I look at it often <laughs> like jazz, jazz. <laughs> it's just in my inspo folder, <laughs> right? Right. Uh, no, I got a, I just got a full sleeve tattoo because I thought, you know, I have this beard. I might as well just get a giant arm tattoo. It's probably and drink time. an IPA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the foamier, the better. The more the more esoteric the name, the better. <laughs> mm, mm-hmm. Isn't that what makes a good IPA? Is a pun a pun name? <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so it's real or not? Nah? Absolutely. Okay. It's weird that I was not consulted on. And you just went with the outside, not like a sleeve. It's just you just dropped it on the outside there. Okay. Well, it's covering most of my arm. I didn't do the inside bicep because you need to flex, obviously. <laughs> you got to show off the flesh. Actually, there's this guy on either. I mean, I'm sure he's on TikTok and Instagram, but he does um, realistic muscle fiber like he draws the muscle fibers mm, onto his cool. whatever. And so then when he's doing what to demonstrate, whatever he's doing, I, I, it sucks. I can't remember his name, but when he's doing whatever he's demonstrating, you really do see the muscle fiber. I mean, obviously it's an artist representation, but you see what he's talking about and you see like, That's see cool. how this part is flexing and this part is, you know, like the, the, uh, the mid peck is doing this and the lower peck is doing that. And you know what I mean? It's really interesting. And it's, it's just like inked to, on him or. He like drew it on. Yeah. But okay. it's very, it's very sort of, you know, it's as realistic as a, I don't know, like a face paint. Anatomical art. drawing. Yeah. Yeah. So That's it's cool. cool. And it, um, it like, it, it is a funny sort of, you're like, huh. Okay. And then when you start to visualize stuff like that, you're like, oh, interesting. I can see, feel it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a smart way to, to demonstrate it. I'm so mad. I, I'm, I feel terrible. I can't remember his name. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to what's his name. Yeah. I think it's got some stupid name like health or, you know, it's, it's not like max no sleeves. That's memorable. You know, it's like <laughs> health, you know? And I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll look him up. Oh my God. Didn't find health anywhere. You know, it's something really annoying. Uh, see if I can find him. Yeah. No. You should get it uh, tattooed. I have a pair of leggings that make it look like the you see the muscle. Yeah, yeah I think and the, I want oh, a top too. Gives me pecs and <laughs> abs. <laughs> It'd be a cool yeah. tattoo if tattoos could be cool. I would never permanently want that on me. Anything really. Don't know why I agreed to do the muscle up thing. <laughs> well, you agreed to do the muscle up thing because you could, so you could be motivated to do a muscle up speaking of which how's your progress uh, terrible i didn't need motivation motivation is not a thing lacking in my life muscle ups are a thing lacking in my life really how many how many people do you follow on instagram that or have you read books by that you would say are motivational people oh Gun, uh, Goggins. I'm, I'm more like a productivity based nonfiction reader Mm-hmm. It's not like I need There's someone a lot to tell of overlap me to there. get going. No, 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 no. I don't need motivation. <laughs> I need tactics. Okay. I need to set up systems. But to, I don't need somebody there slapping me in the face being like, let's do this. Because so I do that myself. You're less of a Goggins and more of a... Uh, oh, I did just read his book, though. And I was like, this is dumb. He's not talking to me. I'm not even kidding that whole time. I was like, oh, this is for people who don't do anything. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> did you I read remember his? I haven't read his. Did you read it or did you listen? You don't need to, to unless you're unmotivated. Right. Well, I go through bouts. I, I I do appreciate a good motivational talk once in a while. I certainly I certainly feel the effect of I feel the pump up effects. I've watched a movie before where where there's a training scene. It's like the same thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then you go punch some meat. Yeah, yeah, I break into my <laughs> the, my meat freezer. Local butcher. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I was listening to what is it? Can't hurt me. And I was like, mm. oh no, I need the opposite of this book. What is the book that tells you you need recovery time? You need to stop <laughs> pushing because you're not getting anywhere. You've plateaued because you do too much. Can't hurt me. Right. That's how I chill. Feel. Hey, hey, chill. <laughs> oh, right. It's the inward that, breathwork that, guy, which <laughs> that'll be the title of the, of the book. Hey, chill out. Jeez. <laughs> there you go. Boom. Yeah. I feel like the target market for that is pretty small compared to the people that need to be told to get off their butts. <sighs> I don't know, because I think I think motivation is or, or pump up or whatever that stuff. It's found that sweet spot where in reality you don't need motivation you like motivation because it's fun and it feels good it's like it's like candy you know what i mean but 
but you systems can get it done and with habits. being motivated. <laughs> it's true. You know, systems and habits. That's like the chicken and bro- broccoli. You know what I mean? Like that's like the, yeah. ugh, damn. All right. Yeah. I guess I'll just keep doing this and blah, blah, blah. And you know, like you can do stuff when you're not motivated as you know, as you just, you know, just pointed out. And you can also, like if you're relying on motivation every time, you're just going to be watching a lot of Rocky movies, yeah. clips, you know what I mean? So in reality, I think motivation and pump up stuff and those um, that uh, that TikTok sound where the woman's like, no one's coming. No one's coming. No one's coming to tell you to get off your ass. No one's coming to tell you to watch less TV. No one's telling you to start your business plan. And it just montages of guys like lifting weights. <laughs> I see that so much. And maybe it's just like a sound or, or whatever. Cause you know, TikTok is just, just like laser targets you. Yeah. But I get that sound all the time. And I'm like, I got it. No one's coming. Thanks. I got it. I got it. <laughs> you know, but that's funny. But yeah, I think in reality, motivation has hit that, has it hit that sort of, it's not really worth it, but it just feels it's like the it's like the it's like porn versus an actual healthy romantic relationship (laughs) Uh, yeah that's a a good overlap yeah i'm happy with that yeah (laughs) they're both great (laughs) right and sometimes you just mix a little porn into your healthy relationship and then you have a dibble dabble (laughs) but no i know what you're saying it's like if you are motivated that day, things are easier, but you're yeah. still doing the same thing as the day that you're not motivated. Yeah. And it's way fun. And well, I, I guess what I'll say is when I've stumbled is when I'm, I'm looking for that like high again of the motivated high. And then I watch a bunch of dumb training montages or whatever. And I'm like, this is taking forever to get, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> Whereas the days when I'm like, I just have a stupid checklist and I'm like, oh, this sucks. Done. Oh, that sucks too. Done. You know, like, yes, the same thing my every day. Or that's the, that's the productive thing, I guess. Productive. All right. So what is your checklist for the evening? Cause that's what we're supposed to be talking about here. Checklist Our for the evening. Evening ritual. It's interesting. Routine. I feel like we were talking about this before we started recording. I feel like a lot of people talk about, or I've heard a lot, a lot about the morning routine. Mm-hmm. I, you know, and I think they're probably pretty equal. I guess I'd still think the morning routine is more important for me because I get a lot more done in the morning because I just run out of energy <laughs> and focus Disagree. and decision making and all this stuff. And I can't like, yeah, once I started doing all this, once I started like front loading my day, I felt like a lot, I felt like a lot more was getting, getting done. Um, my evening routine, it, it's good until it's good, like four or five days out of the week. And then one or two days I go out and hit the bars or whatever. And then my evening routine just 80, 20 rule. You're fine. <laughs> uh, Progress, not perfection. Right, right. You're always going to get a little drunker. Not, not, not perfectly drunk. <laughs> not perfectly drunk. <laughs> That's funny. I think about that a lot, actually. Perfectly drunk because the when you hit 0.08, see, I don't know if this is true, but I've read that when you hit 0.08, you don't feel any more euphoric the drunker you get from there. Mm-hmm. You just I've get had... dumber s- physically, socially, yeah. whatever. You just screw your body up more. I've had a couple of times where I'm like sort of getting messed up and I'm like, this is, Ooh, shoot. Uh, this is perfect. I am really good right now. And then I'm like, Oh, what do I do? Do I slow down? Do I speed up? Do I eat something? Do One I not beer eat something? per what hour I, for the exactly. rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've definitely felt like it, it is funny. Um, I think it was cut cutback coach was at the app and he was like yeah. this app isn't to stop you from drinking or increase or decrease the app is to make you more mindful and more aware of what's going on and how you're feeling and blah 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 and so that's that's been a fun sort of thing for me as i'm always like how am i feeling yeah drunk <laughs> mm-hmm. nailed it yeah the idea of i'm so into data and then realizing that my own feeling is a is a data point for me to pay attention to 
<laughs> was what? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Um, what's his name was doing that too? Borstein. He was doing um, like I think he was doing his diet and he was tracking like craving. Do I crave something oh, not on this goes, one through ten? How sated am I? How hungry <laughs> am I? You know what I mean? That's nuts. And to put numbers on that, even if they're ballpark numbers, that is yeah. <laughs> very impressive. I'm like, what? You're not just having your spreadsheet tell you how you feel <laughs> and what to eat when. <laughs> also, what do you mean scale of one to 10 hungry? It's pretty binary for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's either it's like, now I'm going to die. No. <laughs> I need food or I will die. Or, oh my God, I'm so full. I might throw up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> going to die on either side. It's just. <laughs> yeah. I'm just barely. <laughs> too much or I'm too little. <laughs> barely staying on that straddling the fence or whatever. Oh, that's great. Uh, um, I'm going to go against you here and say my evening routine is way more important. I wake up, I'm motivated as crap, and I just do stuff. I don't need to pay attention to what's happening. Did mm -hmm. I brush my teeth? Who cares? I'm on emails now. <laughs> that's, well, that's gross, but okay. Go on. <laughs> what? No, that's productive. Uh, uh, you better hope you never get the... FaceTime with like uh, like a breath feature. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. FaceTime pheromone. <laughs> <laughs> no friends yeah um no because i i skip the recovery thing and and winding down at night is super important for getting actual good rest apparently yeah which i just learned oh big time uh they say well okay let me ask you this this is really in my opinion this is the biggest thing when do you put your phone down versus when do you fall asleep if my phone isn't in my hand at any given point during the day, I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and that goes for the evening too. That goes uh, for any, it in. any time whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, feel I, the exact same way. That is, is that a part of your evening routine is to put your phone away and wind down? I do not do that. Well, I will say that I, I definitely have two versions. I have like the ideal evening routine and then I have like sort of my in practice routine when I'm getting lazy about it. Ideally. Yeah. I put my phone down and I'm just so bored. I, I have to read like a physical book or something oh. or else I'll just die. Um, so I do, I've started so I trying to do that. Yeah. I pull up my, pull up my Kindle, pull up my iPad. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, uh, I think that's one of the most important ones is put your phone down a long time before you're actually trying to formally sleep. I am it, not nailing the most no. important one. Yeah. I don't think I do it very well at all. And what, what I really, okay, here's something I was struggling with and I know I should fix it and maybe I will fix it this week. My lights are all Bluetooth lights. <laughs> so to turn off my, my light i use my phone ah uh, so in a sense you can say, hey, like, siri, hey siri turn off all my lights you don't have to go near it i know i have well i have to set up my i have to reset up my uh apple i home or whatever <laughs> yeah uh but but that was my has been my excuse as to why i still have to play it like another game of chess or another 45 yeah. minutes on tiktok or another 45 minutes on instagram or whatever yeah right so before i go to bed funny. Instagram is probably the worst, but I don't do it in bed. I'll say that it's on the couch before I go to bed. I do nothing in bed. Just plug the phone in and actually fall asleep. Interesting. I refuse to. Yeah. Like any sort of activity. No, no TV in the bedroom. No computer. Yeah. No work. I remember in high school, a bunch of my friends would do work sitting on their beds. And I was like, that is so bizarre. Like never occurred to me to do that. And I think that there's also something to be said. I don't, I don't know how scientific this is, but I think getting into bed means sleep. You know what I mean? That's super scientific. Yeah. I've I think, seen so I think much about is. that. Yeah. And so I think you need to separate are... your physical spaces so that your, your brain triggers sleep, only sleep there, not stress yeah. out about emails. Let me ask you this, another personal question. How difficult do you find falling asleep once you're in bed? My aura is like, uh oh, that was too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Every night. Did you die? Your sleep latency was a little quick. 
uh, you fell asleep before you got in the bedroom. So <laughs> you should maybe work on sleeping better. Yeah. You slept, yeah. walked in. What about you? Same. In fact, I Super remember, fast. whereas, whereas Brittany, it takes her hours. Uh, and I feel really bad about it. And then once in a while, I'll like turn and toss and turn or something. I'll be like, man, it's taking me forever to fall asleep. And she was like, that was like 40 seconds. So... <laughs> what are you talking about? And I'm like, Oh my God, really? I'm sorry. Um, I fell. It must've fallen asleep. Yeah. What do you, do you have a sleep tactic? Fall asleep tactic. Yeah. Do Brian Borstein's programming, eat my face off, be extremely exhausted from the day. And then I fall asleep. I mean, I do have a handful of things that I do now to wind down because I used to eat, you know, 2,200 calories and go to bed and realize that that was giving me garbage sleep. So I try and separate those things now. Good. That is another big one. That's making your sleep garbage. Yeah. Eating right before I know. Well, I put a four hour window now between finishing eating and sleeping Sleeping. and it made a huge difference. I made a video about it, like tracking the difference and it was day two and everything changed immediately. And that never happens with experiments. It's like, well, you got to slog this out for 30 days to see, I don't know. Did something happen? Yeah. (laughs) But like the next morning, my glucose was amazing. I got all this deep sleep. Everything was better. And I clearly was screwing myself over by eating right before dinner for years. I think that's one, that's one of the biggest ones. I think probably phone eating booze, like cutting all that yeah, stuff out before sure. like as, as long as you can before actual formal sleep that's probably like like one of the be- best things you can do only day drink we talk about only this all the time day drink. i know the problem is when your day turns into your i know night. but even then it's not that big of a problem because then by then if you day drink if you do it right you're tired you're exhausted at like 10 <laughs> yeah you're like when you're sobering up around eight you have a extra delicious dinner because you're still kind of drunk right and then <laughs> go to bed. delicious so but you, interesting my so at 11 o'clock my eight sleep turns on and to cool my bed down me too i will say i won't get into bed till two so that is an absolute waste but 11 is the goal and then every time i f it up mm-hmm. uh, but i also- stretch a lot Oh, stretching. That's what I was going to ask. Like 30 minutes of stretching now. My my night routine is aggressive. I know. Oh I keep God, adding stuff. That's so lame. You know what's lamer? Oh. I do it wearing orange glasses. This is how I justify still using my phone. I have these big old... You've, I sent you a picture and you just shoved me in a locker about it. Oh my Ugh. God. You're still big wearing those? Glasses. Yeah, I am. And I use night, <sighs> night vision... Mm-hmm. night shift on my phone and my computer mm-hmm. do you believe it i don't know because i never have trouble <laughs> falling asleep so it's like what am i doing here i know me too oh i was gonna say i i have a i, I count backwards from 99 and every time i think of something other than a number i have to go back to 99 How and it's it's very convenient because it gives me something to focus on. It really will, you know, I can sort I could pair it with my breathing if I want to, but I don't usually need to. And I know there's been times when I'm not that tired, but it would be really convenient if I like slept for a couple hours. Like I've been up for a while or like my time zones are all messed up traveling or like, for example, I'm going to get on a plane, you know, and I'm not that tired and, or, or comfortable, but it would be really great to just, you know, skip ahead a couple hours or whatever. And I find that if, if I start doing that, I, I, it's not perfect. I'm not a superhuman yet, obviously, but, <laughs> yes. but it does work a lot more, a lot better than I would have predicted. And I, that's cool. Yeah. It's too good. Now it's like a Pavlov dog situation. Anytime you have to do math, you just fall asleep. <laughs> right. Well, simple counting math. Not like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So what, You'd say you don't have trouble falling asleep. You probably usually get to like 96. (laughs) If I get to the 80s, it's like, whoa, holy moly. That's crazy, though, because it's meditating. You're focusing on one thing. That would be impossible for me. I'd be like, 99, did I turn the coffee machine off? Right. I know. (laughs) But that's exactly what happens. That's what I'm saying. And then it it does really make you 
hyper aware of like, man, I'm really thinking about that coffee machine, huh? Yeah. The whole point of this was to think about numbers. I totally forgot about that. All right, here we go. Are you going to go yet? Or what's 99 dummy? I'm like, oh, right, 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 right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, positive self-talk, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super positive. <laughs> But that uh, one's very, I find that to be very, um, it, it's, it's a funny, it feels like a skill, you know what I mean? Or it feels like something I've gotten good at when I wasn't even really yeah, trying. Cool. It's like, what else am I going to do? I don't know. Think about whatever. So and I it's useful. Like those times you're talking about where you wouldn't be tired, but being, yeah. but sleeping would really benefit you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's cool. So um, I've, it. I've started box breathing since since we had on our other ship guest, uh, Robbie Bent. Yeah, yeah since yeah. then Love I did his Robbie. his app. Oh, you're doing the and app. I was uh, using his app for a while, and now it's almost like I don't even need the friction of having to open my phone and pick a thing. I just do box breathing by myself. Nice. What Picked is box habit. breathing in? Oh, hold, right. Out, yeah. Hold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in I usually do five seconds. In for five seconds, hold for five seconds, out for five seconds, hold for five seconds. So it makes a square, right? Well, that's <laughs> in hold. Wait a wait a lung hold. flex on everybody. <laughs> Holy um long. I've seen I've seen but um I usually do in for guy, 25. <laughs> he he lung flexed. It was in one Instagram where he's like, I do it. I do a box breathing for 15 seconds now. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. And he's like, it's one breath a minute. What? Whoa. Because Ugh, yeah, think about I it. Hate that. In 15, 15, 15. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. Cool, man. <laughs> what <you> anyway. Breathing. <laughs> You're still breathing? Wow, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I've evolved beyond. <laughs> I just grew gills. <laughs> Uh, yeah um uh, it's honestly pretty. surprisingly calming i'm mm-hmm. so anti all of that kind of thing and i look forward to it weirdly yeah Brittany was doing the calm app at night yeah. i think it's very similar i found that i didn't i am unable to meditate at night because i'll just i'll just fall asleep i guess yeah. whereas if i meditate during the mornings you know, I think I think some of the benefits are there. Uh, you know, I'm aware of how I'm feeling. I'm aware of I like figure out a, a problem I'm having or whatever. Like I, I examine it more closely or something like that. If if it's during the day and I'm like sort of one and a half coffees in, <laughs> but if I do it at night, I'm like so I have this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're trying to sleep, it worked. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that really helps. Um, how's um, your? So you don't eat. You eat the space between the last oh, food. It's not and a the... full like fast because I have been having some calories. I've talked about this on Instagram because they sponsored me, but I was already drinking Beam before they even said, "Hey, mm-hmm. here's the hookup," and sent me Beam. So I've been drinking that. Although I got a little worried because it has melatonin in it. And when we talked to Jeff yeah. about the, um, shoot, Jeff, his app was, we've talked to so many people. Rise? Yeah. The Rise Sleep guy. He was I, like, I yeah, melatonin's not really doing anything. And I don't want to put like stuff in my body that then my body does. Do I stop making my own <laughs> melatonin if I'm having it every night? It's true. That's true. I don't know. I, I, I kind of feel like if something works, you could probably <laughs> you could probably use it. <laughs> well, that's the problem because caffeine works until it doesn't and you need more. That's everything you get. Caffeine works in a sense that a it wakes you up and it allows you or, or it erases the idea in your brain that you're tired. You still are I tired. But- Whereas if melatonin makes you fall asleep, whether or not you're tired, you know what I mean? The benefit is still there. You're still sleeping. Yeah. Well, I don't want to I be guess. reliant on it is what I'm saying. Or get a tolerance uh, and have yeah, to have yeah, more yeah. of it. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I switched to Organifi, which it's like 
mushrooms and adaptogens and stuff like that, but no melatonin. So it's basically bean without melatonin. Mushrooms. I was like, what is this dance? Oh, yeah. We get mushrooms mushrooms on this show. We're a big mushroom family. Um, But it has 40 calories. So I am eating before I go to bed, but not in a way that disrupts anything because compared to 2200. Yeah, no. No, nothing. They're like, yeah, so they don't. So you think you're you think you're getting calories, but all the devices are like, nah, dog. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> Barely, you're just breathing. Which, by the way, I after I started drinking this stuff because it's kind of pricey. I was looking back in my email, searching to reorder, mm-hmm. and they offered a sponsorship to this show that we never took. Oh no! I know we got to get some. <laughs> Let's get some for sure. I was. Uh, I realized. I, I, I don't want to like, this sounds really stupid to like think something was kind of profound when you yourself said it, <laughs> yeah. but when, um, when we were talking to alchemy mushrooms and he was like, do you like mushrooms? And I was like, no, but I love taking supplements <laughs> that I'm like, I'm still thinking about that. Like I'm doing all this stuff and I'm like, I don't even, what am I doing? I don't like this, but I do, you know, like. So I'm hundred percent down for stuff like that. That's the, it was such a funny, like, uh, you know, it was like, wow, I didn't really think about that about myself, but I just said it yeah. out loud and now here I am. And I'm still thinking about it. If I need something, I'll supplement it. Otherwise, yeah. Like you would love athletic greens or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> it's, that's terrific. I don't know, but I'm not doing it because it's, I don't know. Although I've heard conflicting reports on athletic greens. What are your, do you know anything? Do you know the inside? Bulletproof just sent me that they (laughs) just. Oh! Uh, I just tried greens for the first time. Bulletproof sent me some. They uh, are not sponsoring us and they tasted awful. Absolutely Mm -hmm. god awful. It's weird because it tastes, they made them sweet. I was expecting some sort of earthy broccoli greeny whatever and it was it tasted like toothpaste that you get from the dentist whenever you don't get yeah. the mint kind you get the bubble gum kind it's like that weird xylitol sweet flavor and it's a green swill anyway it's I drank so it green it's so green <laughs> and you're like what what is this it stained my counter i'm gonna drink this and yeah then you, and then you do and so I, I, I like, I feel like I need to do a ton of it or not like consistently do it like a workout and yeah. then check in in a month and go, I don't know. Did that do anything? And then pay another whatever to yeah. try longer. I don't understand. Well, the ones I had also not sponsored, but transparent labs. So I love transparent labs, but that, that one, it had that same flavor, but then they tinkered with it. And then it had just less of a flavor overall, which is okay. fine whatever but it did have that like yeah it's not like minty but it's like something it's like dentist toothpaste yeah you're absolutely right it's so it's weird odd. but then um i think i forget where it was but i was reading someone or one of the trainers like offhandedly mentioned how like it was the biggest scam <laughs> green, <laughs> the supplement green. industry was like powdered athletic greens so i'm like oh yeah great well i've only been taking it every day for the last 60 days but yeah totally 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 you know I don't know. On I the can't... package, it says equal to one serving of vegetables. I would just rather eat broccoli. What the? <laughs> Why would I deprive myself of eating more? Yeah, no time. No time for chewing. Yeah, super busy. Can you just can you just blend up that chicken cutlet for me? <laughs> yes, exactly. You know what? Here's what you do. I know you you've you've clearly have a, a a need to have your own blended chicken cutlet. Here's what you do. You go to the grocery store. And you get yourself some, you go to the baby food aisle. I know you know where it is. It's where all, you get all your shirts. The baby food aisle <laughs> has a lot of stuff. It has food. It has other versions of Pedialyte or, that are really good um, if you're hungover. Uh, but they also have baby food. And in your brain, you think of baby food and you're like, oh, applesauce, delicious. Or like, you know, um, bananas sauce. I don't know. They also have something called meat in meat gravy, ham and ham gravy, turkey and turkey gravy. And those are the protein rich food that every human being needs, including babies. Uh 
But those are the ones where you try those and you're like, that's dog food. <laughs> like they are so violently <laughs> disgusting. They're so bad. Why I mean, have you? I did it for a video years ago and uh, like, I bought yeah, a bunch were... of baby foods and I was trying mm-hmm. them and I blindfolded myself and I had my friends hand me whatever. And I swear to God, I thought they hit, they like were playing a prank on me, air quotes and handing me dog food for a hundred percent. Not even like, okay. Ha ha. I'm like, guys, that's not funny. I'm not going to put this in the video. And they were like, dude, you bought this and you gave it to me and I'm handing it back to you. You dummy. And I'm like, okay, fine. But yeah, it is so bad. So <laughs> wow. please, by all means, I, I highly suggest you go home and try some ham and ham gravy baby food. It's so I would bad. totally, definitely, except that I'm vegan. Mm. Are you vegan? I thought you were plant-based. I looked it up since our last episode, and I guess <laughs> there is a difference. <laughs> all this knowledge we're spreading. I don't know. The plant-based people still, they're not like... I love animals. They're basically just like, yeah, I eat mostly plants, but probably have an egg here and there or something. Mm. So first of all, it's nice to know that, that my it's first it's nice to know that my bullying has really sort of effect <laughs> has a very powerful effect on you. That's very nice to know. Second of all, how is your how are you feeling? Are you are you shred? Are you zen? Are you balanced? How are we feeling? You're you're plant based as of hungry. I'm hungry. Two months it's now, right? Crap. Month and a half. Yeah, I'm. Ish. I'm done in a, in in six five days. One. I don't think you're done in five days. I think you're done when okay. you die. Because this is you now. You think I'm vegan be forever? Okay. Well, then know. I'm never going to your meat birthday dinners ever again. Well, first of all, you weren't ever invited. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you transform into a duck and then we'll eat you. And that's why you're invited. <laughs> are you feeling, are you, how are you feeling? I yeah, bet you're feeling I mean, great. Ugh, that sucks. It's fine. It's whatever. It's, it's a little, it's a little challenging. It's not like, um, I'm not eating my vegan food going, I wish this was meat, but when I'm out somewhere, it's like, Oh, this is such a chore and such a pain. Like, mm. This is a stupid example. I talk about it in the video too, but you got that matrix gift too, right? Yeah. And the, the jelly beans. So what's yeah. So Max and I got a gift from the matrix to help promote the video and there's just jelly beans in it. And you have to think about everything and, and everyone around you has to think about you being a vegan. It's not that everyone that vegans always bring up that they're vegan. It's that everyone needs to be aware because it affects everything. So you get someone a gift and it happens to have a glaze on it that came from a beeswax. You can't eat those jelly beans. And so, yeah, it's just, you can't just have a bite of someone, something or go out and grab something. You have to think about what it's going to be and go to a vegan place. And it's yeah. a bummer health health wise. How you feel mentally? It sounds like you're pretty <laughs> drained, you drained. Yes. Mentally. And so I guess health wise. Yeah. I don't know. I can't tell if it's doing anything. I'm really glad to have outside indicators. I know it's like, Oh, pay attention to your body, but I feel, I can't tell feel if I'm any same. different. So I'm going to, for sure. Look at my DEXA scan. I think maybe yeah. leaner. I probably lost muscle, honestly. Hmm. I don't know. And then yeah, you, you um, look obviously like look twig. at my labs. I just you saw look- Martine the other day. She's like, you lost weight. And I was like, oh. oh no. Oh no. I've been vegan for 50 some days. She's like, no, I, well, I didn't think you'll lose muscle. Like that's just Right, right, the problem right. is that's just what women say to other women because they think they want to hear that. And that's the opposite of what I want to hear. Whereas I know, frankly, it's, it, every time you go to the gym, your gym buddy's like, bro, you're looking huge. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. What do you want? No explode? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like the, the, it's the polar opposite compliment is like the norm. Yeah. <laughs> that's so, so funny. funny. Yeah. And Martine thought she was complimenting me. And then I just started sobbing in the middle of the park. Right, right. <laughs> no. But at least you your tears were pure vegan tears. Mm, indeed. <laughs> no animal based tears here. Uh, anyway, that was a part of the switch too, to that Organifi and having at least 40 more calories at night. I didn't feel bad about adding anything. I don't even track right. it right. because I'm already 
like hungry. So there we go. Are you hungry all the time? No. Um, I don't know. I feel weaker during the day. Like I can tell oh. my blood sugar is lower. I, my body's just not used to it. And maybe it is. Who did we talk to that was like, oh, I didn't go long enough. I think it was the alchemy guy. Our, um, he was like, I, I was vegan for a while, but I didn't go long enough to oh. let my body acclimate. Yeah. And so, you know, maybe it's 90 days and I feel super great. I always, yeah. I always think, oh, people give up on fasting too soon because they, their body needs to adjust their metabolism yeah. needs to start getting flexible. So maybe I just need my body to adjust. And the reason I ask about hungry all the time is I always think that when I'm eating, uh, what if I, if I finish a meal and I'm still hungry, my knee jerk reaction is just think, Oh, I didn't get n- enough protein. And so if I'm eating super clean, uh, or, or, I guess it might be carbs. I don't know. It might be like whatever I'm thinking I didn't get enough of. That's the thing that I think is making me not full. Yeah. So if I'm not doing any carbs, I'm like, man, I wish I had some carbs. That, like I'm obviously so hungry because it's the carbs. If I don't have enough protein, I'm like, oh, it's obviously the protein. You know, like it doesn't really yeah. line up. But in fact, I think what it is is, is when you eat something that's like ultra like processed. I don't know. That doesn't like makes a lot of like, it's not the most best way to say that, but like, I'm the most full when I've had McDonald's or, uh, you know, a Domino's pizza. Yeah, Cause they're just sick at that point. Yeah. Cause they're just, yeah. They're just shoving fucking good gook, blech, whatever in there. And then I'm full. Yeah. Cause I'm like sick to my stomach, <laughs> Right. but it's not, so it's not a sense of, um, so I think when people start doing vegan plant-based, whatever they're, they're, you know, their meathead brain is like, well, how am I going to get protein? I'll never be full, you know? And so then that, that's like, right. you're just eating a lot of tofu. What are you doing? Yes. <sighs> like four servings of tofu and then three servings of tempeh, which is just fermented tofu. Nice. Or fermented soybeans. They're, it's all soy. It's garbage. And, and I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's I'm garbage. trying to get in chickpeas and I do a lot of seitan. I try and change it up because you're supposed to get a lot of variety, but I'm not a variety person. I am a do the same thing over and over person. So right, right. I, I'm probably going to get these labs back and I'm deficient in a ton of stuff because I didn't get enough variety. I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll see. see. But you stop but eating. Yeah. Are you still doing one giant meal? Or are you doing? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's just a little earlier now. Sometimes I still screw up, right? If I'm li- like, I'm probably going to eat pretty late after this. I still got to work out. So, mm-hmm. and then that pushes me sleeping later and later yeah, too. Yeah. Cause I, it, by to extend that fast window, I just stay up till 3 a.m. That'll be fine. Great. <laughs> Perfect. That's a great idea for my sleep. It is funny. Like what, cause they all sort of run in or it should be a, a, a symphony of things. You know, everything should work in harmony with each other. So I stop, eat, I eat earlier. Yeah, so I stop yeah, eating earlier. So then I drink day, more yeah. water. So then I blah, 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 blah. Where, but then it turns into like, Somebody. all right, well, what's, I'm, I'm late on the meal. So ah, it's okay. I'll just screw up my bedtime. That's ah, okay. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. it, it is funny how these you things sort of one. one thing, yeah. which one's going to overpower the other one, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I feel like, I feel like the, uh, yeah. Like if I want more time without my phone, I'll stay up reading a book later, you know? Cause I'm like, mm-hmm. Oh, well I getting an hour less sleep, but it's still better that I'm not looking at my phone. You know what I mean? Like it's so right. It's, right. Right. It's frustrating how these things are like. out of life. Yeah. I know. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah. Yeah, and that's, I, that's... We, we always bring up vegan because I'm vegan. So we have to talk yeah. about that now in every episode. Yeah, I know. It's true. <laughs> um, I, but I've I, also, wait, go ahead. I was going to say, I, new subject. I make sure to back on uh, evening. One thing I do evening routine is drink a pint of, I mean, a, a full glass of water. At right least you go to bed. one or two. Right do you pee at you night? Do I wet the bed? No. Well, no. <laughs> I haven't paid attention lately. <laughs> I will say that as the night's winding down, uh, or, or, or yeah, as the night's winding down, I look at my pee. And if it's not very clear, then I make sure to 
every half hour have a glass of water before until I go to bed. And you did, it something. doesn't wake you up in the middle of the night to have to go? No. Huh. Solid. I was having that problem when I was eating late. I was also just drinking a ton. And so then I would like wake up. Yeah. Probably also getting garbage sleep from like glucose spiking. So. Yeah. I'm surprised that, that you didn't, that that's like new to you. I would get an upset stomach as a little kid if I ate like right before bed. And then I, I, I figured that out. <laughs> Cause you're a boss. You can't handle it. <laughs> right. Right. No, well, I think I didn't need a, it, an exterior d- gadget device to tell me that i shouldn't be doing not to. <laughs> so it's it started with dave asprey he was like i i eat fruit at the end of my dinner and it was like a whole blood sugar thing and it helped him he actually was saying how it helped him get tired but that might be a blood sugar mm. dip after having a big spike i don't right. know but it sort of allowed me to uh have carbs and use that as a, a way to go to sleep right Mm. Yeah, I allowed myself to do that and then just like pushed it to the extreme by eating later and later, mm. which is, yeah. And not, it ended up not being good. Well, now, you know, so yeah, you but stretch. I still do it, you know, I stretch <laughs> solid stretch. 30 minutes. <sighs> Especially lately. Cause I'm trying to get this muscle up. Mm-hmm. Is that it? And no, there's a, lot, there's a lot more. We can do rap, rapid fire. I started mouth taping. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I don't think I need it. I never thought I needed it, but I, I woke up with a dry mouth a couple nights in a row, and I was like, all right, screw it. I'm doing it. Bought some medical tape, been testing out different configurations. I don't know. I don't know. I've been doing it for two weeks, committed every night. It's nice. weird. I bet. I can't tell. I can't tell if I'm breathing with my mouth open at night or not. I did the whisper and they said that I I've snored for like 20 minutes ish, which is Mm. not a lot for the whole night. No, not bad at all. No, it's, it's ridiculous. But I also think about the fact that it's like pulling my face down. So then wrinkles wrinkles and yeah, have just like a sagging mouth. You can't like pull your mouth up. Have you tried? It feels like it's stretching. Yes, of course I've tried that. (laughs) I just try to like lightly place it so I can't breathe. Out. Yeah, it's a whole stupid. Have you thing. tried taping under your chin, straight up over <laughs> your nose, <laughs> like Pee Wee Herman? That was that. <laughs> was that Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Oh, uh, I think so. Ah, uh, so whatever. Before I mouth tape, I put in my night guard because I grind my teeth. Of course, I'm stressed. It's crap overnight. Oh my god! And put on a whoop. And sync my aura. So, uh, yeah, I'm tracking a bunch of stuff overnight. Okay. And obviously, eight sleep tells me to. Eight sleep. Really, I just wear a whoop to be a second opinion to my aura in case something goes wonky with one of them. I can look at the other one and go, <laughs> "I'm not check. that bad." Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, it's honestly like, well, maybe, it's a let second me opinion, a doctor. I need a specialist. Yeah. My leg's not really broken, right? <laughs> yeah. Except when I drink and then they both are in agreement attacking like, me. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> the drinking is crazy. Any drink at all. Half a glass of wine. Eight sleep is like, yo, your resting heart rate was trash last 25% higher than normal. I'm like, well, that's not that bad. <laughs> like, actually, it's probably terrible. Yeah, it's too bad about the booze. Anyway. Yeah. Day drink. Well, what about you? Stretching? You got anything more? So my my stretching is I sit at the I sit with my back against the foot. I sit on the floor in front of my couch and that hurts my hamstrings like really bad. So that's Mm -hmm. that's stretching. Uh, I drink a bunch of water. I try to put the phone down as long as I can. And um, the other problem is I have to take the dog out for a walk right before bed. So I always feel like I'm like amping myself up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. Like couch. Oh, I'm tired on the couch. Cool. Get in bed. Done. I'm like, Oh, I'm tired on the couch. I have to go for a walk now. (laughs) Yeah. And it's cold and yeah, you're concerned about getting stabbed, you know, I wear my brightest orange shoes, my brightest (laughs) green jacket. You know, I don't want to get run over. 
so it's a little it's a little wonky in that sense but that's about it and then and then i get into bed i try to put the phone down what i might do is i might set that's what i think i'm gonna do because i used to have the L- the alexa or the apple home or whatever and i would voice command my lights and that was amazing i loved it maybe i'll set that up again it's the future and then what I really like, and I've done this, I did it for a little while and I loved it. And then I stopped because I'm a weak, pathetic person. I was charging my phone like in the kitchen or I'd leave my phone in the, you know, or even like on the dresser across the room, just so mm-hmm. I couldn't like, A, I couldn't like phone an inch in front of my face, sleep, wake up, yeah. phone, <laughs> you know? Uh, and that's that's really the so it was right before bed and right when i wake up i i look and you avoid all that 5g overnight you know keep your cells healthy my brain cells my hair cells my hair follicles you know you gotta watch that hairline uh (sighs) do i (laughs) no i think you look great what about your dad my dad has a ton of hair, but I, there you go. I You're fine. thought it was your mom, your mom's dad. I was like, oh. I thought your hair, your person. hair jeans. And my mom's dad was bald at like 20. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> Way to outlast him. Yeah, exactly. Barely. <laughs> Maybe oh, I will do that. I'll, I'll set up my, I'll, I'm going to put my phone in. Uh, I'm not going to have my do phone. Do you, right when you go brush your teeth do it in the dark or do you turn the lights on in the bathroom lights on why i brush my teeth in the dark because at that point i'm I'm how do you find your toothbrush (laughs) how do you find your teeth (laughs) i've been brushing my eye for years (laughs) (laughs) your optometrist is like this is like beautiful (laughs) didn't know where you're going with that I have shiny eyes. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Lord. Ugh. You brush your teeth in the dark? Why don't you just yeah. get, you know what you, you should get do? used to it. I figured it out. You just got to get some red light bulbs. Oh, yeah. I have a night shift for my studio, too. It's really, like, Weird. not at all the future. It's, it's like a, a lamp you would have in your dorm, you know, where they have these snake heads and there's six of them. And yes, I do. I know exactly you can, what you're talking about. Yeah, it's an yeah. octopus lamp. Right. And you get it at a target, 20 bucks. Exactly. That's my adulthood. And you can switch it so that these three are on and then switch it. And then these three are on. Yeah, and so I these three that. have daylight bulbs and these three have the incandescent yeah. dark looking candle bulbs. And I, I switch my studio to night shift. I love that. That is amazing. Thank you. You can do that now with your smart bulbs that you have. You can just change the color temperature because you live in the future and I live in a dorm room. You know what? The other thing that I have the smart bulbs that I really liked, um, you can put them on a timer so that they'll over an hour or 30 minutes or whatever, shut off. The sun sets in your home. That's so cool. And it's cool because I, I think... The, the science that backs that up is like, it's better for you to like slow rather than bright, 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 dark to like yeah. slowly adapt is supposed to be it's better like for you. freaking nature. And it's also an automated system. It's, your lights are like, hey, pal, it's it's bedtime. But, uh, 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 shut up. It's bedtime, you know? Right. You so don't have to think of it. Way. You don't have to commit. It just does it. Ah, can't that's wait till we're living in the no, matrix. No, no. Are we? Did you are see the matrix? Any... Oh, the new one? No. Yeah. No, oh, you should watch it. It's beans, good. So. <laughs> Screw it. What do you have a Blu-ray player? They sent us a Blu-ray disc, by the way. First of all, I have an Xbox, not to brag. Uh, Is that a Blu-ray thing? Yeah, they play Xbox plays movies now. Where have you been, nerd? (laughs) Wait a minute. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay, I'll have to go watch it. You can download it, right? But then I can't put it on TV. I have to like stream it from my computer. So I have an Xbox. Literally, the only thing I use it for is watching movies. <laughs> so that's so stupid. You don't have any games or do you just not play them? <laughs> I have some games and I, I guess I started to play a little bit. Um, 
to uh because my cousin was playing i wanted to like bond with him Aww. but uh for for years and years and years the only thing i used it for was streaming tv streaming movies and i'd like forget that i have a gaming console because it's just a entertainment console <laughs> so stupid <laughs> but yeah so get a uh, get next box okay then i can watch we can be gamer revolution. buds <laughs> are we uh, in- yeah probably i mean chances are we're in a simulation that's a whole other episode i could go off about being a brain in a vat no a vat a jar i think it's vat adjacent brain in a vat the brain in the vat hypothesis, yeah. Yeah. But why? Yeah. Well, that's a God question, I guess. <laughs> you know, like I'm just here to answer what. <laughs> that's like when people when people um there's another one where they think like all oh, this weird stuff's happening to them and the world revolves around them and all this stuff. And I'm I'm always kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. But but why you like, are you that important? (laughs) Well, I think the brain in the vat argument there is that you have no external validation that anyone else is even real. And Mm. so the only thing that you can prove is your own self feeling. Consciousness. Yeah. So therefore you must be the chosen one because you're able to confirm that. Right. And look at all the cool stuff I'm doing. I'm in the NBA. I oh, know. Wait a minute. I'm a president of, oh, no, wait a minute. I, uh, hmm, let me think for a second. I have one dog. That's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they, you, look, you're the protagonist. We didn't say anybody else was going to read the story. <laughs> you're, the you're the protagonist. You're the main character of the first draft uh <laughs> we wrote him out in subsequent chapters <laughs> yeah exactly uh, great all right well it's about time for me to start freaking working out and winding down winding down uh ryan's programming seven i'll be done eating by nine gotta go to bed at one not bad not good not really not good it's been worse. You know what I was thinking the other day? I was like, uh, I love, I don't do any cardio. It's so stupid. All I do is lift heavy. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I go on two walks a day of an hour plus. Hold the, hold the phone. <laughs> wait a minute. This dog is tricking my body. What, what's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> also, I want to mess with your brain right now. High intensity interval training is pushing your body, heart rate up for this amount of time and then rest. And then push really hard, heart rate up, and then rest. I'm with you. That's exactly what you're doing lifting. And if you lift, you don't necessarily need to do high intensity interval training because that's what it is. Whoa. Only if you're lifting with intensity. (laughs) (laughs) So just standing around flexing in the mirror. (laughs) Dance part, dance, dance lifting. Yeah. Yeah. If you're lifting, you're better off doing that steady state cardio with your dog or low intensity stuff. You're fine. Also, the number one indicator of longevity in someone is the VO2 max. And so you should care about, oh my God, you should change your name to VO2 max. (laughs) Now that I have a sleeve, you mean? Yeah. That's a good idea. Beyond the two max, no sleeves. No VO2 max. I, I care more about my cardio now that I know that. I've also heard grip strength is, and leg strength is a big indicator of longevity. So I'm just trying to hang on to muscle, hang on to as many things as possible for as long as possible. But are these <laughs> indicators or are they? Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Is it like wearing shorts makes you eat ice cream? No, it's that you're eating ice cream in the summer and also you wear shorts in the summer. Right. And and does grip strength make you live longer, or do they just like, like a bunch of not dead causate? People? Yeah, 
Probably your, your grip strength. You can hold on to life. <laughs> I was gripping onto my soul into this earth. Yeah, I don't know. I don't About know, but I don't think it'll harm me by having great grip strength. Me, an 80 year old woman doing a dead hang for hours. That's, that's weird. I called it a dead hang. Yeah, it that's- sure is. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, Lord. You can do your dead hang on the gallows, you mean? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Get out. <sighs> All right. All right. Uh- I'm going to go crush legs. And by crush legs, I mean walk slowly for an hour. <laughs> I'm actual crushing legs. It's fine. You're better off. You should wind down now. Get, go buy some of those glasses. that uh, you, I got the ones that Rise suggested in their app. I know. The I've, seen, I've seen the video. I've seen the photo. You look like an absolute lunatic. But if it works, it works. Thanks. Are you going to do weighted Bulgarian split squats today? Rate elevated. That it's not what he has programmed. Pause back squats is what I'm doing. Ryan. No. It's not going to look very good on Instagram. Just saying. No way. Bulgarian split squats look stupid on Instagram. Actual squatting looks hardcore. Nobody cares not, about not bilateral, if you, unilateral if leg, movements. If your back leg Instagram. is elevated, they look incredibly cool. And frankly, it depends on the shorts and the <laughs> shoes and the shoes. Yeah, you're right. I, I realized right. I work out in the dorkiest, shout out Asics, the dorkiest sneakers. <laughs> sneakers? In general, because I'm filming every time I do a muscle up workout, which is twice mm-hmm. a week mm-hmm. for this video. And I'm realizing how dumb I look and how often I'm wearing those freaking pajamas like those, you know that matching sweatsuit that we got it yeah yeah create was it, more. playlist or the red that. one yeah, yeah yeah i know what you're talking about well i have a couple that are the same so it looks like i'm wearing the same thing when they're actually you're like i have multiple <laughs> to your uniform it's okay i know I'm you don't make you don't make fun of the the la rams for wearing the same thing all every weekend <laughs> but they didn't even wash it because they're superstitious white again <laughs> seriously <laughs> okay whatever it's after labor day <laughs> <laughs> all right go Good. do your routine you too and if you're a fit head and you made it this far holy crap we always ask at the end these are our hardcore fit heads that i make it to the end of the episode please rate and review no you know what we should do we should spend an episode reading the reviews oh i love that because I read all of them. So I want you to know that we do. And I think we should also feature them. And then we'll rate your your Yes, rate, rate your ratings. <laughs> so get your reviews in now if you want to be in this episode. I love that. That's so funny. <laughs> all right. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>